Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another week of my life vlog here in New York. It is a cloudy, cool morning. Again, the fall vibes are strong, and I am loving it. The high is only like 77 today. I'm wearing a little, I mean, this is super lightweight, but a little Uniqlo hoodie. Um, Cause it looks like it might rain. I don't think it's supposed to, but it's still kind of worrisome. I'm starting off my week Monday morning with some errand running. I'm gonna go throw some laundry in when I head out the door to go to Target and Trader Joe's to get groceries and things I need for the week. And then I'll come back here, get a workout in, shower, get ready, have food, and then spend my afternoon working on job applications. And then I have a date tonight. So. Should be a good productive Monday. I like to try and get to the grocery store early on Mondays if I can because it gets kind of busy later in the morning, lunchtime. So let's go. Last week of August, baby, September 1st is in this vlog. So home stretch. It already, I'm just excited. I know that some people are like, no, don't rush summer. Um, I'm not one of those people. I will rush summer as fast as I can <laughs> to get to fall. And I did get a couple PR packages, so I'm gonna show you guys this. I was so excited to open from Alani New. I'm obsessed with Alani New. I love their energy drinks. I use their pre-workout, and I love this flavor in particular. They sent me a box of their peach energy drinks, and peach is probably my favorite flavor, if not the cherry one. I was a like big peach ring candy kid growing up, and I think that they did a great job with this flavor. So they sent a box of their sour gummy worms. So very good. I love candy like this where it's like sweet, but just like a little portion. Be low sugar for candy if you just like have a little sweet tooth after a meal or something. I already opened this and put a couple in the fridge. So I'm gonna have one right now. It's Monday afternoon and I'm hitting that like three to 5 p.m. slump. I'm gonna open one of these cold ones. It's just such a cute package too. Then instead of pouring it in a glass, I'm just gonna drink it from the can, but I move the tab here and then use a straw because then the straw doesn't fall. This will help me get through the next couple hours. I probably won't drink the whole thing, maybe half. Um, so help me get through the afternoon. I wanna get a couple more hours of work done. I'm working on my essays for my foreign service officer application today. And just kind of because it's Monday, I always just scan job posting and sites that I keep an eye on. So. I'm doing that. Um, so far, nothing has really caught my eye that's come up over the weekend, but let's keep working through the afternoon and then I'll probably get ready on the early side so I can film a little get ready with me or something. I have my hair clipped up so it gives it, I literally try anything to get some sort of volume. Six and a half hours later. Hello, I am almost done with my makeup now because I actually have been filming getting ready on TikTok, but I'm gonna hop on and film a little bit if I take it ready with me for the vlog. I'm putting on eyelash primer right now. Love giving myself two plus hours to get ready for a date and just relaxing. Also you guys, I feel like my master of Botox has really kicked in. I can definitely tell the difference. I feel like it's something that I notice on myself way more than anyone else would probably notice on me, especially without seeing the side by side, but I... I'm loving it. It's been three weeks exactly today since I got my Botox. So it is definitely slimmed in my face a little bit. Again, they were uneven to begin with. So I think they're probably still gonna even out from here. She said it would take about four weeks to see the full results and it's been three. So we'll check in again in another week, but I'm loving how it's looking so far. I definitely noticed a difference in the feeling of not clenching as much, not waking up with like jaw pain from just grinding my teeth because of these overpowering muscles. <laughs> these overpowering muscles. But then something funny this morning when I went to Trader Joe's, I don't think I showed you what I got, but it was kind of just generic stuff. I got salmon to make 
honey glazed salmon again this week. Finally had ginger chews back in stock, which are these little like ginger candy bites. And they're so good. And I used to eat them all the time. Like that was my go-to want something sweet to grab at Trader Joe's kind of thing. But they've been out of them for like a couple months now. They just haven't been in the store. But today they were back and I was like, ooh, I haven't had those in so long. Love them, I'm gonna grab a pack. And I come back home and I'm eating one later. And that's what I really noticed because I was having a hard time because they're really chewy. And it was like that feeling of when your muscle is sore and you're trying to lift a weight and you just feel weaker. It was like that with my <laughs> master muscle because most things like chewing regular food, you're not really gonna notice a difference. Like it's not that drastic of a feeling. Um, but I think with these, because they're just like a chewy candy, I could really tell that like my muscles were not there. Um, and I was like, damn, no wonder I had these like giant masters because I've been eating these ginger chews for so long and they're very chewy. Um, so maybe I need to rethink that like a, from a dental end of muscle perspective, but they are good candy. And also my smile is completely unaffected. I think it looks normal. Some people like, worry about that, um, but mine has not been impacted, but who knows, maybe next week I'll be completely frowning and unable to, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we're going to a little cocktail bar in Clinton Hill, which is near my neighborhood. He's taking the year off of drinking, which I think is admirable. Drinking isn't necessary for fun or anything, but I was thinking about it and I don't think I've actually been on a date where the other person was sober. So I think I'm still gonna get like one drink. I'm just like hoping that's kosher. We'll just assess the vibes once we're there. I just feel like one drink is pretty minimal anyway. I feel like if he cared, he would have said like, oh, let's do something else. But he said bar was cool. I don't want to just repeat what I said on the TikTok. So go watch the TikTok if you want to hear more about like the date itself. One of the other PR packages I got that I want to show you guys is from American Eagle. They sent me a couple pairs of jeans. And let me just tell you, you might even know if you've been watching my videos since then, but Every day in high school, my wardrobe was sponsored by American Eagle jeans. Like that is all I wore to school. If I was wearing jeans, they were American Eagle jeans. Iconic for my generation that I'm so glad to be trying out some of their new styles too. Jeans are something that I historically just do not diversify the kinds that I have in the styles. Like once I get attached to a couple pairs that fit me well, I think are flattering or a wash that I like, that's just all I wear. Like I wear the same Zara jeans all the time. They're different styles than I have and it's actually nice because I've been wanting to kind of switch it up more, especially going into the fall. And I want to have something a little different than the same ones I always wear. And the box they sent them in is very cute too. Still sipping on this. Okay, the jeans. This is the box. It's styled to be like a little pizza box. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. Cute. And... I picked two pairs of jeans. I've actually worn these dark ones right here already. I went bowling with some friends this weekend and they were great. They're so comfy. Okay, I just put on the top that I think I'm gonna wear tonight anyway, because I was putting on a shirt. So here's the jeans. These super high rise flare jeans. They are so comfortable. They have the perfect cut, honestly, because I also got them in a short, I didn't mention that. I got them in my true size in the short version and they're perfectly hitting the top of my feet, just how I like them. I'm 5'3", and they're iconic. So if you're a short gal, they have ones that'll fit you. I think they even had extra short, but I just went for regular short. But they're so stretchy, comfortable. They have this little asymmetrical detail, just a tiny bit, it's not super noticeable. These super high rise flare jeans. I'm excited to wear these this fall. I haven't had a pair of dark jeans that I've loved in a while, so these will be great. And the flare I think is nice. I think they're just so flattering too, on your hips. And then the other pair I got, these are the dreamy drape, super high rise baggy wide leg. So many words. I don't have any good baggy jeans, so. Let's give them a shot. Okay, so like I said, these are the Dreamy Drape Super High Rise Baggy Wet Leg. And I actually like how these fit because, I mean, your shape can definitely get lost in baggy jeans, but these still fit well in the waist. It's a little bit big in the waist, but um, it fits like through the hip and then gets baggier, at least on the way it fits on me. Sometimes the spacing can get weird in the crotch area, but I think these are done really well. These are also in the short length. And they're super comfortable. They're not as stretchy, they're not designed to be, but they're not stiff either. Like they're definitely, you know, you could sit comfortably. My new American Eagle jeans, 
Very excited about that. American Eagle will always be iconic for their jeans. Now's a good time to break to eat something and then finish getting ready. I'll show you guys the final look. Like I said, I think I'm just gonna wear this shirt with some other bottoms and hope for the best. <laughs> Okay, I'm headed home from my date now Going for a motorcycle. I'm walking distance, so I took the bus there just so I wouldn't be like sweating and running and being late. But now I'm just gonna walk home because it's nice out and it's not too far. He was super friendly, nice guy. I feel like we had a lot in common, a lot to talk about. Maybe just kind of friendly vibes. I don't know. I feel like it's been a very long time since I've had like off the charts, incredible dying to see them again date. Um, but still, good is good. Okay, good night. Good morning, Krusty Crew. It is Tuesday. It is another cloudy, chilly day. So, loving that. Starting off my day in my beaver sweatshirt. I think I have an idea of where I wanna to go today. I wanna to go to a workspace, but I think I might check out like a hotel lobby or something a little bit different, like something that I haven't tried before. I didn't really get as much done as I wanted to on like my computer work, essays, applications yesterday because I was kind of like getting errands done and then, I don't know, I just feel like when you have a date or an event, like it's sometimes Hard to focus on what you're doing. I have a candle lit, watching some YouTube videos I was reading this morning. And we'll see where we head off to. I'm ready to head out. I just put on this outfit and realized that it is Oompa Loompa core. Chocolate brown tea and white bottoms. All I need is the little suspenders they wear, but I think I'm gonna go to the Roxy Hotel first. I've been there on numerous occasions, but always like nighttime to the bar, not to the workspace situation. They have a Jack's Coffee in there. So I'm gonna try that. It's probably gonna be busy, but there's other places in the area. We're gonna try for a Soho day. So let's go. Downstairs, like cinema and jazz lounge area. It's so cute. Usually, when I'm here, it is packed. <laughs> Salmon for dinner. Yum. Hello, happy Wednesday. It is like midday and I'm headed into Manhattan. Gonna go meet my friend to kind of co-work together at Ace Hotel in like, I guess Nomad kind of area. And then we signed up for a Core Power Sculpt class this afternoon. I haven't been to Core Power in years. <laughs> I don't think I ever went in New York since I moved here. I used to go a lot more in DC and when I was in California even. But it's been a long time, so I've been doing yoga recently, but Yoga Sculpt is like a whole nother level. So I got my towel in here, I'm gonna grab my yoga mat, and that'll be nice to kind of get a little, a lot of sweat. <laughs> it's such an intense class. But yeah, my friend's never tried it before, so it should be fun. And hopefully we'll have a productive day. It was raining all morning, um, but it cleared up, so I think we're in the clear. Fingers crossed. We are 
<laughs> Hello, happy Thursday. It is a beautiful day today. Yesterday was rainy in the beginning, but the sun is shining. These are my favorite days to go to Bryant Park. So I think I'm gonna go. I might not stay in the park. I think I might actually go to the library. The Stavros Niarchos library has a rooftop that you can use. So I'm thinking I might go there because that's a way to like be outside but still have Wi-Fi. Bryant Park has Wi-Fi in theory, but it never really works consistently. So um, I do want to get some more stuff done today. I didn't really end up getting as much done as I wanted to before our yoga class yesterday, which I just realized we didn't really talk about much. But it was hard. I forgot how challenging yoga sculpt is, especially because not only is it like weights and cardio and like minimal resting, um, like it keeps your heart rate up, but on top of it, it's over 90 degrees in the room. So it was difficult, but definitely sweat out all the toxins and got a great workout and I'm a little bit sore today. So I might start incorporating that more because it is on class pass. Honestly, class pass has really stepped it up. I know I never shut up about them. I really am obsessed, but I just saw this week that they added F45 to class pass, which has never been in the conversation. That's exciting. I might have to try an F45 class soon, but I need to keep an eye on my credits because I've been going to a lot of classes. So today I'm gonna rest it a little bit. Um, maybe just get some steps in around the city and go to Midtown. I just think it's a nice way. It's my favorite place to work outside, honestly. But let's go. I'm wearing this Halara top. It's not that warm today, like I said. I have my windows open. It's probably close because I'm about to leave, but the high is only 77 and I don't think I'll need anything lighter than this. And I love this top. It's one of the ones I got from Halara that I showed you when I was in Oregon, but it has this kind of like crossover. I just think it's such a flattering cut and it's supportive. It has pads, um, thumb holes. I'm just wearing linen pants with it because I'm not actually doing a workout. Maybe I should put on a necklace. I guess it's kind of plain. And after I got back from yoga last night, I had some of my salmon leftovers for dinner. And then I FaceTimed Sophie and Sierra and we watched an episode of Outlander together. Um, we are slowly working our way through the new season. I think we're halfway through now. Thank God. It's taken a while. But... It's so much better than last season. I don't know if anyone else is an Outlander fan. Also, this necklace I wear every day is from Ana Luisa. I feel like I don't really say it often, but I wear it all the time. But last season, we were losing faith a little bit in the show. But this season, it's come way back around. So I'm excited to see where it goes from here. To the library. Having fun isn't hard when you have a library card. a couple packages so I ordered this pack of headbands I'll put them on my Amazon shop um, they're pretty lightweight so I actually feel like they wouldn't give you a headache or anything like they're not super you know when headbands are really tight but this had a five pack it was a good deal there's like a warm camel color a cooler tan color dark brown kind of like a heather dark gray I thought it was gonna be more black but oh well and white. This is a great fall color palette, so if you're interested in headbands, I'll show you what it looks like on top of my head. It just gives a little bit, it's like half an inch thick. I like it. Guys, I got such an exciting package from Living Proof. I'm obsessed with Living Proof. Also this morning and recently, I was having a little bit of a crisis with my hair just because I feel like, I mean, I've always thought it was really thin, but I just feel like I it's especially thin lately. I might try and like, adjust my supplements or something to or do more like hair oiling. I just really want to work on 
thickening my hair and preventing it from falling out. But Living Proof has great products for volumizing and I've tried some of these before and they're my go-tos. So I was so excited to just like randomly get a PR package from them. This is my Ride or Die dry shampoo. I, if it has a million fans, I'm one of them. If it has one fan, it's me. The Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean. They also have this one in the dark gray bottle, which is still great, but I think this one is more effective for me, especially if you have like a tricky hair washing schedule with working out or something. I've tried a lot of dry shampoos and I always come back to this one. And this one, see again, this line is great for volumizing, the full line. This is dry volume and texture spray. I think this is the one I have, let me double check. The bottle feels different. Yeah, dry volume and texture spray. I think it might just be bigger. Um, yeah, this is like empty because <laughs> I use it so much. This product I absolutely love. It's their triple bond complex. So all it strengthens hair. So that's great if you're like trying to improve your hair health. I use it about once a week. I probably could do more. You can definitely notice a difference in the texture and how smooth it is. And then these two I haven't tried yet, but I'm so excited to. First of all, I was literally just talking about this like freaking out at <laughs> my scalp. But this is a scalp care revitalizing treatment for thicker, fuller looking hair from the root. And this is something that I definitely could use. So I'm looking forward to trying it. This will be the first time of trying this. It says nighttime treatment for thicker, fuller looking hair used with scalp massager. I think that's what that is. It comes with it. That's so nice. Maybe I'll try this tonight, honestly. I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow, probably. Anyway, after my workout. And then finally the Frizz Vanishing Oil, so stops frizz and adds healthy shine. Love that. Oils are hair's best friend, and this will be great for kind of like getting some more shine now that I'm gonna be wearing my hair down more in the fall. So this is just what I needed. God bless Living Proof, I seriously love them. And it's like they read my mind. Anyway, I had a great afternoon, honestly, just kind of like chilling in midtown chilling but also it was productive i got an application submitted that was kind of lengthy and got some other stuff together but i think i might head up to my roof because it's such a nice day this weather is actually perfect like i said it was a little bit chilly even when i was in the shade on that rooftop so i moved down to bryant park and sat more it wasn't fully in the sun but it was great and it was just like such wholesome people watching i love bryant park you guys know and that's a special place in my heart, but I just feel like people are always in such a good mood and you see like co-workers bonding there and having lunch and families and tourists enjoying New York and the trees with the sun hitting. I don't know. I just, and there's like music coming from the stage at one point. It might have just been a sound check, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. So, so I want to take advantage of this weather. So I might go up to my roof here and read, but I'm in a good mood and I'm so obsessed with this top. Also, it's on sale. I went to link it on Instagram and noticed that it was like more than $10 off. So, highly recommend. My code is still active, Chris15, if you wanna get it on Polara. Feeling grateful today. Okay, folks, here we go. Trying this Living Proof Revitalizing Treatment for the first time. It, like I said, I was gonna wash my hair tomorrow anyway and go into a rumble class. I mean, I don't think that they intend for this to be Greasy. Yeah, it says apply directly to scalp, use on wet or dry hair, massage in, and do not rinse for best results. Use daily. So I did look up a few videos on TikTok of people using this. Um, so I think I'm just gonna kind of like go in a few sections and just work it in. I feel like it's especially in the back of my hair that I'm like more sensitive to this. Okay, how much is too much? Because I could use this whole thing probably. I'm gonna use the little scalp massager and work it in. Yeah, very nice. This is not nearly as greasy as I thought it might be just because usually, I mean, I guess I'm thinking of like oiling. I think that scalp massagers themselves are just supposed to be really good for stimulating hair growth anything helps you know <laughs> yeah honestly i could do this and not even be washing my hair tomorrow so that's good i might even put some rosemary oil in it which is more like greasy I'm excited about this stuff i honestly will probably just use it daily until it runs out okay i'm gonna wash my face and go to bed haven't done a book update in a minute i just finished yours truly by abby jimenez great book i haven't read a romance novel in a long time and it was so well written and I love the like dialogue. I think she did a really good job of capturing 
the voices of each character differently. Like I think that sometimes when it switches between male and female perspectives, like some of the thought processes like seem too similar, but I think that this author did a great job. Now, the fiction book I've moved on to is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna, which is a really popular historical fiction book. I've heard nothing but great things. I think most people say that they enjoyed it. So I'm on chapter three. The nonfiction book that I'm reading, it's another like essay memoir style book. I think what happened is I watched a TikTok a while back that recommended a bunch of these and I just bookmarked them all on Libby and now I'm just like getting them in succession. So this one is Trick Mirror by Gia Tolentino. And you guys, she is such a good author. She's talking in this chapter about how she was on a reality show when she was 16. It's like describing how she was cast in this reality show to like play this role of, you know, high school stereotypes and how each person was cast specifically. And then she kind of like zooms out talking about how she's looking at like decisions she's making as her 30 year old self and she's like, am I making this decision as me or is this like the what the character of myself that I've cast what I think that they would do or I think they should you know choose or say or whatever and I think that's such an interesting concept is this really what you want to do or are you still following the storyline that you've set for yourself that you think that you should be doing she's also like funny so definitely recommend that but yeah again I've just started both of these books so I'm gonna read some of this and see you all tomorrow happy almost Friday good morning we made it to Friday honestly it's been a short week or a quick week I should say I'm excited for Labor Day weekend though got some fun plans with friends I have to head out to rumble we're gonna do a little boxing today and I'm just gonna put a hat over it it's the Upper East Side location which is far for me um, I initially planned this with my friend who lives in Queens but she is not feeling well today so she's not gonna make it but that's okay another friend is still going with me so that'll be nice I feel like I've talked about the weather every day this week because it's been so marvelous but it's gonna get hot again next week it's September 1st yes I love any way that we inch towards fall so I'm gonna pretend that it's not gonna be 90 plus degrees next week and enjoy this 77 degree day my wraps my water I think that's all I need I got caught up on editing last night, which was great. Let's go. run out the door I didn't really film anything once I got back but basically we went from rumble we got coffee at Ralph's and then we were like you know what this is such an immaculate day we're already up here and it was a beautiful walk to go to the Met so we decided to go to the Met because I haven't seen the rooftop yet and so we went up and it was stunning such a good view of the park, the end of it, trees everywhere, the buildings in the distance, they had art up there, they had a bar up there, it was great. So glad we did that. The day got away once again. You guys, I feel like this week the theme has been I keep intending to have productive days and then I just do what sounds more fun. So next week I need to actually like be more productive. I did get things done this week, I just feel like I was kind of frolicking a little bit more than I usually do. I gotta go, my friend is downstairs waiting to go meet up with some pals for drinks. We're going to the wine bar called Sauced, 
in Williamsburg. I might get a clip of it. It's supposed to be like a really cute outdoor space. And I'm excited. Happy Friday. I just left my braids in and put dry shampoo and like tried to make my hair look more presentable because I didn't wash it. Probably the last time I'm talking to you. So thanks for watching. Subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.